I think people have a vision of what Hawaii's like. You expect the beaches and you know, you see these beautiful mountains, but we are one of the most vulnerable places in the world for climate change. There's a very serious need to address it and look for solutions to start helping this place become more resilient and adapt to the changes that we're about to face. My parents were activists. They took me to protests. I did a lot of work with immigrant rights, but there was something bigger that I wanted to be a part of. I wanted to explore other parts of the world and used college as an excuse to do that, and I chose Hawaii for the weather. When I came to Hawaii, I had just kind of an assumption that this place would be really environmentally friendly. But when I um, walked around campus, I just started to notice a lot of plastic and styrofoam. Finding out that Hawaii is the highest per capita user of styrofoam was really shocking. Styrofoam is the type of plastic, it's made from petroleum because it's so lightweight. Over time, it breaks apart much, much faster than other types of trash. In an environment like Hawaii, it's, it's very dangerous because we're surrounded by the ocean. Because it breaks apart so easily, it blows out to sea and it's consumed by all kinds of marine creatures. And so it really is a, a threat to the environment. I connected with Surfrider Foundation at UH Manoa. I was like, hey guys, let's do something on campus, something impactful, and let's just start a ban on styrofoam. We really wanted to tackle the use of single-use foam at our dining location. So we drafted a petition. We were able to table multiple times all over campus. We just want to get student feedback so we have like an accurate representation. And we were able to pass the policy in April of 2012. All food service locations cannot use foam for any of their products. Any new vendors must have that incorporated into their contracts and any existing vendors, when their contract is up for renewal, must go ahead and switch. In years past, we did um, use styrofoam. It, it was a cheaper alternative, but we had made the pretty easy transition to go completely compostable and completely biodegradable with all of our food packaging. And um, it's really been well received. Dore was really kind of singular in that she petitioned, she got in front of the students, she went to classes, she spoke to the you know, administration, the, the faculty. She really went the full course to make sure this thing passed. After UH passed their styrofoam ban, we wanted to tackle it on a larger scale. So we're currently working on an island-wide ban for the whole island of Oahu and the city and county of Honolulu to ban styrofoam. Sustainability has become kind of a buzzword and it's become something that people brush off a little bit. They don't see that this movement, it's really a, a culture we're trying to create and a collective understanding of the connection that we all have to our land and our water. There's an energy here of just momentum around this idea of protecting our environment and raising of consciousness to really shape our future and create a healthier one.